Shalom and welcome to Simon Tzavtara. This year is entitled, May One Leave Israel to See a Friend, a Relative, a Parent, etc. So the fact is, is an Issa to leave Eretz Yisrael, and it's clear in the Rambam and other in the Gemara, the Shulchan doesn't really have it openly discussed, but in the previous year we discussed the question, can you leave Israel to make more money? You ought to make a basic Parnas, so that's clear. But can you do it to make, uh, accumulate wealth, build up one's finances? Not for immediate use, just to you know, have a lot of money. We saw that yesterday. And now the question is, can a person leave to see a friend? So one would think to see a parent, of course, keep it out of aim. But even that we need a source for, and especially just to go and see a good friend. person leaves hometown from uh, the States, South Africa, England, and makes all yeah, beautifully. He misses his friend. He wants to go see his friend. He can't leave Eretz Israel. The big hater in Mawai to find the Kala, a Rebbe, Parnasa. This is not, not, not in the category. So it's in Shulchanar, Tavkuf Lamed Aleph. It says that a person leaves Eretz Israel and then comes back to the Cholmoi, they cannot go ahead and shave on Cholmoi because you shouldn't have left in the first place unless you went to see a friend. So uh, Mishabur says over this, seeing a friend is considered a mitzvah. This is also mentioned where the end of Reish Memchad and traveling a few days before Shabbos, you're going to get seasick. It's not a good situation to put yourself in. And then it talks about Traveling for a mitzvah, and what's an example? They're open to see a friend. The gro over there in Reish Bemachet says, seeing a friend is a mitzvah. Where do we know this from? Gemara and Erev, and it says you're not supposed to make an Erev stam to extend your border to move, work for, walk away from your house on Shabbat. You don't stam make an Erev. Put a matzah something on the road so you could go further away. Unless it's a mitzvah. And the Gemara says an example of mitzvah is to go see a friend. Wow. So it turns out going to see a friend and keep a kesha with a friend is considered a devar mitzvah. And that has ramifications in terms of traveling before Shabbat, which no means not supposed to stop travel, depending on the case. All the halachas are brought down from Chet, but seeing a friend is a mitzvah. And leaving Eretz Yisrael, you're not supposed to stop and leave Eretz Yisrael, but to see your friend is considered a Torah mitzvah. What a fascinating halacha about how the Torah and the Chazal value the importance of Medad Machaber or keeping a kid, not just being halacha, but doing a mitzvah for a friend. Just seeing, keeping connected to a friend, that's considered a Torah mitzvah. What a beautiful idea. We always talk about achtos. We think about achtos meaning the Esfadim, Ashkenazim, the Chasidim, and then the Mesnagdim, and then the Mesrochnikim, and everyone's all together. Yes, that is beautiful. I dream about that very much. But what about just keeping good, strong friendships? Okay, that's a nechmad. It's not a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. What a big chiddush. Shalom.